airbag draws mixed reaction. I'm Brian Yasui, live at the BCW Sports Bar here in St. James. And uh, as Arvel mentioned, uh, the new arena is the big talk around town, and that's why we're here. We're going to be speaking to uh, Winnipeg sports fans, see what they think about getting a new arena. And later on, Arvel will also be talking about White Heat, the new local rock band uh, making a lot of waves around town. But first, Arvel has the news. But next, does Winnipeg really need a new arena? We're here at the BCW Sports Bars, and we'll be speaking with Winnipeg sports fans about what they think. We'll be right back. Just how bad is the Winnipeg Arena? Well, this professor of architecture at the University of Manitoba calls it the worst rink in the NHL. I see a facility in which 30% of the spectators are significantly disadvantaged. Uh, these 30% are sitting in balconies, in the middle of rafters, with sight lines that just catch the top of the opposite boards, and who are virtually deprived of any sense of people around them. This third-year student in architecture is more to the point. When my wife and I first walked in there, we had no clue as to where to find our seats. Uh, there's seems to be a series of rampways and concourses, and it really looks like the inside of some big electrical box. The talk today is to replace the current home of the Jets, which was built more than 30 years ago. If you look back to the history of the arena, uh, it has served its purpose. It was uh, a remake in one sense, uh, but it's an old arena. And if nothing is done, there's going to be have to have to be a considerable amount of money put into it to uh, update it, and then you still have a renovated old arena. The city would like to see a new arena here, behind Union Station and beside the Forks. A private group wants it beside the convention center, where this parking lot is now. For Winnipeg to really get the maximum spin-off benefit from something like the construction of an arena, it should be located in an area that, that people will come into and do more business than just going to the event in mind. Tomorrow morning, Mayor Norrie has called a news conference to talk more about a new arena, but he says he's still a long way from announcing a new location. Okay, so we're going to have to wait until tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock uh, or 9.30 here, more from the mayor. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, and we apologize for the earlier technical problems, um, there are two proposals that were on the news to this morning, and that was, the uh, first one would be with... Uh, public funds and it would go on the Forks uh, area by behind the Union Center, as we, Union Station as we mentioned, and the other one would be right beside the Convention Center and that would be uh, really privately funded. Now I have uh, one of our, our guests here at BCW's tonight. Sir, I'm just wondering what you think of uh, getting a new arena for the Jets. As a taxpayer, I'm concerned about uh, how much it would cost, but I think we need a new, a new rink. We definitely need a new, new arena. The one that we have right now is not a good arena. We need, definitely need a new, new rink. Why do you say uh, the, the one we have now isn't good enough? Uh, not enough seats, not enough good seats. Uh, no parking. Like, I don't like going to the pool of parking and having my car towed away. Uh, other than that, it's just a bad rink. You know, I've, I've been to Toronto, been to Montreal. It's just a bad rink. Would you go to more games if uh, they had a new arena here? Definitely I would, yeah. Well, Ernie, that seems to be uh, pretty much the consensus of, what we've, uh, of the people we've sp spoken to here tonight. What do you think? The well know is even if we do get a 16,000 or 20,000 seat arena, the fact is that uh, the Jets' best attendance was last Sunday against the Calgary Flames, just over 14,000, but the average is around 10 or 11, so you wonder really whether or not a new arena would encourage those fans to get out and buy season tickets. I wonder what your reaction is to that. <laughs> I guess Brian has no reaction. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, it was an off night for the Jets in Montreal.